All right. So thank you all, um, everyone who attended is attending tonight's meeting. I appreciate you immensely. I will not be before you long. I just want to go over everything. I know I've sent out a lot of information over these last few weeks, which is you know pretty typical for the start of our season. After this next week or so, I'm anticipating that things are going to slow down quite significantly, but we're doing a lot of new things at the studio and we have a lot of new families. And so I've been sent, I know I've been sending a lot of information. So I just wanted to give you all an opportunity. I'm going to go through everything. So that way, if you miss something, it'll be new and or a reminder. If you've already heard me say these things and then just give people an opportunity to answer questions if there's any clarification that they still need after um, after I go through everything. So once I go through that, you can feel free to either come off mute and ask your question verbally or type it in the chat. And hopefully everybody leaves on the same page or at least with some better understanding than when they started. OK. So let's get started. We'll go back to the beginning with the very first newsletter that you all received from me. Um, so as you all know, we are now past due for August tuition. I sent out a um, our updated studio policies, something that I had been um, doing for the last few months, but then made it official and added it to our uh, handbook. This semester is our very hard um, set deadline for the 15th of every month. Um, dancers will be disenrolled from classes if tuition is not paid the, uh, by the 15th of each month. Um, it, for the most part, we haven't really had a whole lot of instances with it, um, issues with it, but we had enough to where I felt like I needed to um, put a policy in place so that everyone was aware of the expectation. Um, it's not... It's not to be mean or anything, but this is a business, and so it is really, really important for everybody to submit their timely payments because we function to a large degree on the tuition payments that parents submit. So if you've already submitted your payment for this month, we appreciate you immensely. And we ask you continue to do so each month by the 15th. Um, remember all of our, I send out, as y'all can see, I send out a lot of notice. So it's not a last minute thing, or it's not like, well, I didn't know that this was a thing. I try to give you all as far in advance notice as possible because I do want you to have the time that you need to prepare budgets and things like that. I realize that dance is not the only thing um, our, our kids are involved in. And so just trying to be respectful of your time and all of that. But just make sure it's in by the 15th of every month. And I appreciate you immensely in advance for that. Um, costume fees, we don't have to worry about. We have a little bit more time. Um, those are not due until October 9th. So I'll talk a bit more about that probably for our next um, parent meeting, but just know it's coming down pipe. Um, we are doing, so we have, a, we have two fundraisers, one that is like ongoing throughout the season and one that is coming up in the next few weeks. So the first one is um, Amazon Smile. So for those of you who are not familiar with Amazon Smile, you have the opportunity to name a charity of your choice when you are shopping for Amazon and then a portion of the proceeds or whatever amount of money that you spend, Amazon will then give uh, a small donation to the charity of your choice. I think it's like 5% or something like that. And so if you want to name an attraction as your charity, we'll be, um, again, immensely appreciative for that. Now, we do not see anything like your shopping history or anything like that. All you have to do is just turn on Amazon Smile. Hey, Bill, how are you? Like, long time no see. Um, so, oh, oh, excuse me. We're never going to talk. We're not talking to you right now. Uh, <laughs> so um, for Amazon Smile, literally all you have to do is just turn on Amazon Smile in your settings and then name main attraction as your charity of choice. And so at that point, every time you make an Amazon purchase, 
then we will get a, a portion of those proceeds. And like I said, we don't see your shopping history or anything like that. We won't. We don't see how much you spend, so we're not gonna judge because I sure don't want nobody judging me and my Amazon habits. Um, <laughs> so all of that is private. We just get a portion of the proceeds. So I am going to drop that. Uh, I'm going to drop the website in the chat. So if you go to smile.amazon.com, um, you can do it that way, or you can go into your Amazon profile, go into settings, scroll down where it says Amazon Smile, and make sure it's turned on. Um, now, even if you've done this before, what I found out, Amazon is tricky. They turn it off for you after every like three to six months or something like that. So you want to check it every so often to make sure that it's still on and to make sure that main attraction is still um, your charity of choice. So if you haven't checked it in a while and you've already done this for us, we appreciate you to just check it again to make sure that it's still on. And for those of you who haven't, then you go to smile.amazon.com to name us as your charity of choice. So we get um, a donation every time you shop with Amazon. Boom. Then our next fundraiser, we, this has become um, a staple for main attraction. It usually goes really, really well. So we've continued to do it because it's really easy um, and it goes really well for us. And it's popcorn and it's all different flavors and they are delicious. So, you know, it's it's a win-win for everybody. We get money for the studio. You get to eat some yummy popcorn. It's a great time. Um, so we are going to start that this, not, not this Sunday, I'm sorry, um, in two, two weeks from today. So it'll start Sunday, August 28th. So for those of you who know you have um, like older people or people who are not tech savvy, this might be a bit of a challenge for them because um, the, what am I saying? The fundraiser is primarily online. So I will share a link with you all as we get closer to the day of the start of the fundraiser. So you can share that link with people who you know would want to help you all out by purchasing on your behalf. And then for every person that purchases on your behalf and puts the dancer's name in the notes when they're submitting their order, then your dancer gets a portion of those proceeds, which will be taken off of tuition uh, for October and November, depending on how much you sell. So like anything else, we don't get everything. We only get, I think, 40 or 50% of the proceeds that we sell, which means there's, um, I think for every $10 you sell for the studio, no, I'm sorry, for every $50 you sell for the studio, you get $10 off your tuition, um, which it sounds like, oh, wow, that's a lot that we have to sell. But like I said, the popcorn is really good and people usually go through it really fast and buy like multiple things. And so you have a real opportunity to um, put a significant dent or get a significant credit for uh, tuition for your dancers. Um, so pass it out to grandma, grandpa, coworkers. Uh, if you go to church, then your, your fellow congregants, all that and it will be, I'm, I'm sure it'll go well, especially for the, the younger kids. Like the stars, clean up for this this popcorn fundraiser so there's that so we have any questions about fundraisers not a whole lot of information but just the um, amazon smile donations and our popcorn fundraiser which starts on sunday the 28th any questions all right fantastic we're going to be moving right along so What's up next? After our fundraiser starts, our popcorn fundraiser starts on Sunday the 28th, we have some great things ha happening at the studio um, during our Labor Day weekend. Normally, we don't do anything over Labor Day weekend. We are trying something new this year to see how it goes. Um, so on Sunday the 4th, your dancer will have um, a photo shoot with their age group, and it'll be during um, very close to their normal class time. That way it won't 
throw parents off too bad. So shining stars, which is our three to five year olds, your time will be two to three. Um, so during that time, each each age group is going to have an hour. And so during that during that time frame, you will um, the group will take the ballet picture. So all of the dancers who are enrolled in the ballet class will have will be wearing black leotard, hair in a bun, uh, showcase face, and you take your picture. They take their group picture in their leotard, flesh tights, and uh, ballet slippers, and then all of the dancers in that age group, regardless of the class that they take, will then take a second group shot um, in their gray studio logo shirt with black bottoms. So we'll have two looks, as it were, because um, we're fancy. So we, we don't have outfits, we have looks. Um, so we have a ballet look, and then we'll have a studio um, recreation showcase look. Um, and we will do that for each age group. And then during that hour, any uh, families who want to get individual shots of their dancer, you are able to do that, but there will be an additional fee. So there's a $45 fee and you get one look for, um, for that time. And you can choose whether you want the ballet look or the studio look. If you want to pay for both, then you would have to pay for both to get both looks. But based on the time frame that we have, then it's kind of tight. Um, the photographer said that um, they would only be she would only be able to get through one look for uh, each age group, depending on the amount of kids that did it. Now, if you really want both, we're not gonna uh, tell you that you can't have both but just being mindful of the time frame because we wanna make sure that it stays within um, as close as possible to the time frame that your dancer is normally at the studio on Sunday. Um, so Shining Stars ages three to five will be from two to three. And then our superstars from three to four. So that's the six to eight year olds. And then our junior superstars, a show, junior showstoppers and senior showstoppers will be um, together from two to three, three to four, four to five, boom. Um, so they move a little bit faster so we can cram a few more of them in. Um, so same thing for all age groups, you, they get one look, one ballet look, and then the t-shirt look, individuals, for those of you who want to submit that order form for your dancer to take individual shots. I sent those links today. Everybody has to get a t-shirt. Everybody has to get a gray t-shirt. Now, if you've done the spring showcase that we just had in May, we had gray shirts. So those are going to be that, that same look that we got for the showcase. So if you are a returner, you don't need to um, submit your submit an order for a new shirt unless you need a replacement. If you can't find it or you got Kool-Aid all over it or something like that, then you'll have to submit uh, the order form for a new um, for a new T-shirt. Also, new thing for parents who want to participate in the parade, which will be happening the next day, um, definitely need you to get a shirt. We want everybody to look uniform. And, you know, it's it's a fun time for the parade. Any questions about the photo shoot? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, some of the, the more seasoned dancers have a rack of costumes that we really don't have any photos in them of. Is it okay? Do we have to wear a black leotard for our personal photo? Nope. Can we? Okay. Nope. Thank you. No. <laughs> nope. If, if they can still fit, because they, they grow like weeds. So if you can still get them in there, then just flick it up. My girl just gets long. <laughs> <laughs> real long, real long. But that's great. Yeah. It's, it's going to be great. Wait till you see her tomorrow. Did she get even taller? Yeah, she's she's like here. Wow. That's crazy. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. So. There's that. So we have the t-shirt order form that was sent via email and then the photo shoot order form um, that was sent in today's email as well. Uh, we are moving right through. Now getting to the parade because we are so excited. Now, um, our senior showstopper, so like our 
uh, middle school and high school or our advanced dancers will be performing in the parade. So they have cadences and walks and all that jazz. Any other dancers who want to participate are more than welcome to do so with their gray shirt and black bottoms, but they will not be performing. They will be helping the parents with um, passing out main attraction flyers and candy. Now, under no circumstances, and this is new, under no circumstances can we throw the candy because I think somebody messed that up and got beamed in the face or something like that. And so now we actually have to go up to the um, parade attendees and actually pass it out. So just be mindful of that. We cannot throw any candy at the parade. It has to be like passed out. It can't be thrown. So the parade starts at 10.30, but our setup is as early as 8.30. So I need everybody, all the senior showstoppers and any other dancers and parents who want to participate, I need all of you at the, um, at the meeting site, no later than 8.30 a.m., um, which is East 147th and Kinsman, so basically right on the border of uh, Shaker and Cleveland, right when it turns into Cleveland. And we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, march down Kinsman. I think it ends at Luke Easter Park. So not super far, but you won't think about it because you're in the parade and it'll be fun. It's gonna be a great time. Um, so yeah. We start at 147th and Kansas and uh, we'll walk to Luke Easter Park. So we already have, you know, registration and all of that. I'm going to get candy and some new flyers. So we'll have that ready to go. Any questions about the parade? Fantastic. I like to think that that means that you all read the email and I just appreciate you so much for that. Um, scrolling. Oh yes, this is a very, very short meeting. Um, and so for, for the foreseeable future, probably at least until our holiday showcase, we will keep to this second Sunday of every month for meetings. So our next one will be Sunday, September 11th, and then every second Sunday thereafter. Um, yep. So every second Sunday, we will have our parent meetings at seven. And the goal is for us to um, get it, get all the information, questions, and things like that, anything that you all need within 30, no later than 45 minutes. Um, because I don't want to hold you. And I'm hungry, so yeah. So that is pretty much all the information that I had for you all. Um, just my the look, reminder for the showcase, and that's, I'm sorry for the photo shoot and for the parade. Um, showcase face, showcase hair. So if you are not sure what that is, I can send you the message. It is also under the showcase tab on the website. I have like frequently asked questions and things like that, which gives details about what showcase hair and showcase face is. And get them some set and spray because it's gonna be a little hot. So <laughs> we'll want to make up the run. Then they look crazy. So yeah, that is, that's pretty much it. Good people, do we have any questions before we close out for the night? Short and sweet, we love it. All right, if there are no other questions, then I will let you all go. Have a great evening and feel free to follow up if something hits you later, like, oh, I forgot to ask this, you know, send a text or an email. Um, and yeah, have a great day or evening. <laughs> Bye.